there are quite a few things that we still need to get done in Crane City before we can actually move on to a new project. And to be honest, there are just like countless things. I mean, we have this freaking box just surrounding these trees. Like, what are we doing? Like, what is this? What is this? I, I, I've, I've taken a break for a minute from Crane City and I've come back and I actually have no idea what my intentions were when I first initially left. Uh, I never really left left, but I just kind of been so busy with other things that I haven't really had much time for Crane City. But we're back. We're back. We're going to be making another episode today and hopefully more episodes in the future consistently. Uh, anyway, with being said, I think I know exactly what I want to do today, but I'm kind of confused. OK, I'm kind of I'm kind of confused. I don't really know where I last left off. But you know what? I know for one thing for sure. The bridge has been needing some work for a long time. I mean, like we built this bridge a long time ago and it's, it's really nice. I, I really like the way it looks, you know, it's cur curves around there. looks really, really cool, uh, but it's not finished. It's not finished at all, including this part right here. This part's like it just stops. It just completely stops. And there's a huge gap right here. Uh, so my goal is for today's episode is to finish the bridge here and also connect it to this road somehow, which I reckon really shouldn't be too difficult i mean it's i mean it's mainly just placing blocks also guys we did make a couple tutorials on this here building i have, actually haven't finished it yet we have to do the roof last and i might do a bit of an interior design as well but um for the most part this pretty much is done um i will be having a tutorial the last tutorial part last part to the tutorial out very very soon so you guys can stay tuned for that uh but yeah with that being said bridge 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 what are we gonna do to finish this so i'm the problem that comes into play is that when we actually built the condo if you can see right here it's actually going to run into the building so we're going to actually have to curve it over just a tad bit in order to avoid that collision so i'm guessing maybe like two blocks to the left i, I think that's what i have to do i think two blocks to the left should be perfectly fine so i'm gonna do that real quick and just see if that is actually accurate all right, so I sorted out exactly how this is going to go around it. And it wasn't really that hard. I mean, it's pretty much what you expect. Just kind of go over a couple of times. That way it actually doesn't collide with the building. And we pretty much cleared it. Uh, I mean, it's, it is kind of hugging <laughs> the building. It's kind of like rubbing against it right here. And honestly, uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't really think it's that big of a deal, honestly, because this side's not going to really be looked at anyway. The more cosmetical part of this building is the front, which you can clearly see. So I don't think that's going to be actually a big deal in the future but yeah it is it is definitely cutting it close when it comes to uh how close it actually is to the building i mean it's literally right up against it that's crazy uh but anyway yeah but that being said we already got that part uh sorted out for the most part um which i'm actually really happy about all we really have to do now is just finish the back part over here and then add some pillars to the actual bottom of the bridge to actually make it look like it's actually standing up and not just floating like some unrealistic object All right, guys, so after a little bit of work, I got a bit of a, you know, a little bit of a support for the, uh, the actual bridge here. As you can see, we kind of used the, the natural mountain, like, you know, the natural landscape to actually make this pillar. It looks pretty natural, in my opinion. Uh, most times, you know, people, when they're building bridges, they're actually using the mountains as a little bit of leverage to actually help support the bridge, which is exactly the sort of idea I want to get here. And now on this side, we just did the uh, usual little V-shape, um, you know, mountain bridge beam whatever you want to call it I actually don't know what they're exactly called but you guys don't talk about the pillars that hold up the bridge i made another one of these right here um i, I was going to try to flatten out this land but uh, i actually really like how the, the how it kind of like has this river here so i don't know exactly what i'm going to do but i might make like a little bit of a dirt patch here that is very steep and drops down to there but uh yeah probably going to do that for this entire spot 
but I really want to leave this as a river because I actually have some really fun ideas for what I want to do right here in this little bit of a lake area. But man, like, wow, this is actually looking really, really crazy right now. Like we got a bunch of roads going on, like this curve. This actually roads, I plan on this road to curve that way, which I'm not sure if that's going to run into anything. Hopefully not. But uh, that road is, uh, is actually meant to join the other road that's actually in the mountain. I don't have any fireworks. I can't really fly right now. I need to, just, there we go. Okay. Um, but that, that road is meant to join that road a little bit later. Okay. Chicken didn't want to be on the street. Okay. Uh, but yeah, this is actually looking really, really cool so far. I'm actually really, really hyped for how this is looking. Look at like, look at Crane City guys. Like Crane City is starting to get full. It's starting to get more, um, more busy, more busy for sure. So um, also, I also made this little billboard over here. If you guys didn't see this already, uh, this is actually designed by Croc. Uh, I can leave his description, uh, his, his title in the description to his video. But I made a little billboard. I figure, you know, can, you know, the city can use a little bit more um, detail, and I feel like that actually really helps with detail. I'm not sure exactly what I want to put on there right now, but I definitely want to decorate it with some sort of advertisement of some sort of shop or something. I'm not sure. You guys can let me know in the comment section if you guys have any ideas. But uh, that's that's why I did it for there. It's actually looking really, really cool. I think it looks a lot better with the bridge overpass um, than it did before when it just opened. I think it definitely looks a little bit more busy, more city-like, and uh, honestly, I really like the way it looks. So um, I'm starting to think, so we pretty much finished the entire like bridge when it comes to that part, to that part. Like we're pretty much done. If there was anything else to work on, it would be just a curve moving on to the next area, which is going to lead to a completely different part of the city, which literally just does not exist at the moment. I haven't done any work over there yet, but uh, the, the, the road is, is supposed to like come around there, maybe like on the edge of that mountain, and it's supposed to join up eventually with this road. It might not join. I might not actually make them join. I might actually have the road just go straight into the mountain. And it just be like another highway road that, you know, some way to like move faster through the city without having to actually go through the streets of the city. But that is a plan. That is a plan right here. So I don't know. Um, I actually have some really, really amazing ideas for the future when it comes to Crane City. Some really, really cool, like really, really cool things. I'm thinking about adding a little bit of a, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys. But I have some really insane ideas for Crane City that I think will actually trigger uh, a bigger audience on YouTube and bring in a lot more uh, people to the channel, to the world. Um, but anyway, with that being said, that is pretty much all I wanted to do today was pretty much just get this bridge done. Um, I think off camera, I might actually do a couple of cars uh, because, you know, we only have like three cars right now. And I feel like cars play a really big role in how busy a city looks. So with that being said, I might build a couple of cars around here. Might build, a, you know, I think, I think a, a nice little Mack truck would be pretty nice right there crossing the overpass right there i think that looked pretty nice but uh yeah that's what i'm gonna do off camera but if you guys did enjoy today's episode be sure to uh, smash that like button and uh yeah comment that comment down below if you guys have any extra ideas for a detail that I can actually add to the city this is a city after all and my brain just cannot always generate detail uh so i'm probably gonna need some help with you guys but um yeah, speaking of detail, this this needs more detail. We're gonna we're gonna do more of that later. I need to actually figure out what I'm gonna do with some lights down here. Okay, yeah, I'm getting sidetracked. Outro, outro. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.